Have you just passed your license and you're looking for your first ham radio? What is the cheapest ham radio on the market right now? Well, the Baofeng UV5R is without doubt one of the most popular radios to go to for those who are looking for their first ham radio to use. Now this particular radio is the Baofeng UV5R. You find this on eBay, it's around about uh, less than $30 and uh, these radios will operate on three amateur bands in the United States and two amateur bands in uh, Australia and the UK. So uh, those bands in the US are 2 meters, 1.25 meters and 70 centimeters. Uh, in Australia and the United Kingdom uh, you only get 2 meters and 70 centimeters. But uh, the, these radios are incredibly cheap for what they offer. Uh, of course, they come with some controversy, so we'll discuss that. And uh, all around, they just seem to be a great, great little radio. They are a Chinese radio. Uh, you get what you pay for with them. Uh, I have also heard that there's a little bit of uh, talk about they're not exactly clean on their transmitter. They are a little bit spurious. They're not, uh, they're not the best there in that way. That said, uh, this particular model I think is a later model than uh, most of the models that had problems earlier on. Uh, there is also some discussion about uh, are they legal to use? In Australia, the Baofeng UV5R is illegal to use on any band other than amateur band. So if you're not a licensed amateur radio operator, you cannot transmit using the Baofeng UV5R. That includes UHF, CB and other frequencies. However, you can buy one of these radios and use it purely for receiving if you like. Now, the WIA's website here in Australia, uh, I'll just quote what that website says. Put simply, an amateur transmitter, while required to meet certain technical standards in the LCD, that's the amateur LCD, does not have to comply with an Australian standard or be type approved. Further down, Therefore, no matter what amateur license, foundation, standard, or advanced you hold, you may possess any piece of equipment manufactured specifically for the global amateur market, provided that you operate it in accordance with the type of license you hold, even if the item of equipment is capable of operating in certain spectrum segments that are not available to amateurs in Australia. So it's quite plain there that these radios can be used by amateurs in Australia. Now, in the United States, there's been talk of these radios being banned uh, from being imported into the United States and being sold. Uh, now, they're not illegal to be used by amateurs in the United States, but for more information on that subject, I'll put a link up into the cards to a video that deals with this topic. So the Baofeng UV5R is by far the most popular model of Baofeng. Now, uh, let's have a look and we'll open up and see exactly what you get in the box. So you get a user manual, that's uh, always handy. Now the user manual is uh, approximately, I don't think it has any, oh no, it does have page numbers. It is approximately about 18 pages long, so it's not too, it's not too bad. There's some um, easy, easy to follow instructions. Uh, it's not like uh, most user manuals from sort of Chinese products that uh, don't make sense. Uh, there's a lot of information here which is all relevant. You get the main radio itself, all uh, all shrink wrapped with a little serial number uh, pad on the back, uh, a battery. Just a, just a single battery. Uh, I do like that these radios come with a belt clip. Uh, not a belt clip, a, uh, what are they? Earbud for, uh, for put, uh, lapel for transmitting, so that's good. Uh, with earphones, you get a belt clip. Uh, a standard whip antenna, so that uh, operates on two meters and 70 centimeters it's written inside the antenna there and it also comes with a desktop charger with a USB port on the back so you can plug this into any USB port for charging uh, there is also that's interesting there is a shorter stubby antenna now the reason that this radio comes with 
two antennas. As I said, written on the bottom is the frequency range. So the longer antenna is 136 to 174 megs and 400 to 520, so two meters and 70 centimeters. However, the shorter antenna is 145 to 230 and 245 to 260. So in the United States, of course, uh, they have access to the 200 megahertz band. So uh, two meters and 1.25 meters uh, access to. So that's what the shorter antenna is for because this radio will transmit on the 1.25 meter band. And you get a little, uh, little, what is it, wrist strap as well. So let's open up the radio and the battery simply clicks in bottom first, I think, is it? Yep. Oh, this is a bit of a challenge for me. Ah, oh, there we go. It actually didn't snap in. That's interesting. So the battery, if I can, it just snaps in like that. So you basically hold on the radio upside down, just snaps in. So turning the radio on is just turning the volume control on the radio and that adjusts the volume obviously. Now because in Australia we don't have the 1.25 meter band, I'll plug in the two meter and 70 centimeter antenna. Now there is uh, memory channels on this. There is also a call button on the side, which I will mention very quickly is very annoying. It gives a, a ring out, which um, you may or may not have heard. If you've ever heard these radios, it's quite distinct. There is also a LED on the top, so you can use this to sort of look in the dark as well. A little light, a little flashing light. Uh, PTT button. Uh, as I said, it's got VFO and memories as well. Uh, two VFOs, A and B. Um, you've got your band button here to change between bands in VFO mode and a keypad here for, I think this does DTMF and uh, other various functions as well, which are all detailed in the manual. So what I'll do is I'll just dial up the local repeater here and uh, just do an on-air test and see what it sounds like. So this radio also reads back the frequency and what you're doing um, as you press the buttons, which is very handy for people that might be visually impaired as well. Menu. Uh, so it's receiving, so the repeater's a little bit uh, patchy in and out here where I'm sitting and where I'm filming this video. Uh, I do also have a Yaesu VX8, uh, so I might grab that in a minute and we'll do a little bit of a comparison, but we'll just see if anyone's uh, listening on the repeater. Out of the VK seven double H listening on RTC for a test if anyone's around. Now, there's also a signal meter in the top uh, left hand corner too that tells you exactly how strong it is. Okay, so I can't reach anyone on the repeater, but I've got my Yaesu VX8 and my Baofeng radios both here at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I've got them both on a simplex frequency, so you can see what the radios sound like. So first of all, the first test that I'm gonna do is I'm going to transmit using the Baofeng, but it's gonna be listening on the uh, VX8. So I'll place the microphone of the radio uh, sorry, the speaker of the radio next to the microphone here, and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. VK seven double H testing. VK seven double H testing. Baofeng UV five R transmit. VK seven double H testing UV five R. VK seven double H testing. Baofeng UV five R. Okay, so now in this test, I'm going to use the VX eight to transmit while the Baofeng receives, so you can see what it sounds like. VK7 double H testing using VX8, Baofeng UV5R receiving. So can I recommend one of these radios? Well, for the price, for less than $30, you can't really go wrong for your first ham radio. Uh, sure, there's, there's other radios out there that you might be looking at, you might want HF or you uh, may uh, even want a reputable brand with a bit, with warranty, for instance, a Yaesu or an Icom. But I mean, for $30, I mean, these things are, they're, they're pretty, they look pretty robust. 
Um, if you drop it in a river, it's not the end of the world. Um, if you're taking it hiking uh, or out portable, uh, purely because of the, uh, the the way it's built and, and it, it does seem fairly rugged. But yeah, if you damage it or drop it um, or it uh, goes for a swim, it's only $30 that you've lost as opposed to uh, something that may cost several hundred dollars. So yeah, I think that the Baofeng UV5R is definitely uh, a worthwhile uh, choice for your first ham radio. Um, so yeah, uh, leave a comment below what you think. Do you own one of these? I know plenty of people owe, uh, own a Baofeng UV5R, uh, maybe uh, a different model. Uh, just leave a comment uh, below what you think of them. And uh, thanks for watching.